And we are learning new details about the investigation into the death of 16-year-old Owasso High School student Nex Benedict. News on 6's Jonathan Plosik tells us police have now released some preliminary information about the student's death. Here at Owasso High School, parents and students may notice increased police patrols today. Owasso police tell us that's because of the threats made toward the district due to misinformation regarding this death investigation. Now, Owasso police released new details Wednesday saying an autopsy was performed on Nex Benedict. And pre preliminary information from the medical examiner's office shows Nex did not die as a result of trauma. That new information is obviously different from some of the rumors and speculation that are spread online and on social media. Owasso police also say they're still actively investigating the physical altercation that happened at the high school involving Benedict and other students the day before Benedict died. Nexus family released a statement Wednesday through the family attorney which says which says quote while various investigations are still pending the facts currently known by the family some of which have been released to the public are troubling at best end quote. The attorneys say the family is independently interviewing witnesses and collecting all the evidence that they can and they want answers. Owasso Public Schools says they are cooperating with the police investigation. In Owasso, Jonathan Pulasic, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, in a statement released this morning, Governor Kevin Stitt said the death of any child in an Oklahoma school is a tragedy and bullies must be held accountable. It goes on to say, as we await the results of the investigation, I urge Owasso Police and Owasso Public Schools to be forthcoming and transparent.